friends i am shailendra singh and today i am going to tell you how to install the oracle database 21c in windows 11 server so it is a latest release of the oracle database 21c and uh, let's see how to install the oracle database for this we have to download the oracle 21c database from oracle home database technologies oracle 21c windows download and uh, after that we have to create a oracle home directory where we have to unzip the installed zip file and uh, from there we will run the Setup.exe. So let's move and see how we can download from there. You can see the file. For this, you have to have a Oracle login there. So it's asking for a Oracle account sign in. I'm signing in there to start the download by giving username and password. You can see here our download has been started there. Once download is completed, you have to move the file in the Oracle Home directory and extract the zip file. So it's unzipping there. You can see it is a big zip file. It takes time to unzip the complete setup, and you can see there setup. dot exe. I will run this setup. dot exe in administrator mode. You can see the installer has been started there. Oracle Database 21C installer. It is starting there. Select any of the following install options. Create and configure a single instance database. This option creates a starter database, or you can uh, set up a software only and create a database later on. It depends upon the requirement. There is here is two options: desktop class with the minimal configuration and server class. In which you can use advanced configuration options. So I will select server class to install this database. And here again. There are two options: Enterprise Edition and Standard Edition. If you are using for production, you have to install it accordingly to your license. And uh, it is asking for a non-administrator account. Oracle recommends that you choose a virtual account, but I will select a Windows built-in account. And uh, it will show the warning that it has more privileges there so you want to continue or not so i will go with the privileged account privileged os account rather and uh, oracle base it is showing here and the software location oracle Home. I will click on next, and there are two options: general purpose and transaction processing. Starter database designed for the general purpose use, or a data warehouse, warehousing. Starter database 
optimized with the warehousing applications. So I will select with general purpose. <coughs> and uh, here it is asking for the Oracle database name. By default, it is ORCL, Oracle SID, Oracle System Identifier, ORCL and uh, pluggable database name but it is uh, showing error because this machine has already a database with the RCL name so I will change error RCL RCL 21 21 I will suffix there and now I am clicking on next here it is asking for the how much amount of memory I have to allocate to the SGA it's by default it takes 40% of the total installed memory so it's 32 GB RAM is there so it has taken 12 GB but I will reduce it here up to some 9 GB and uh, you can change it later on based upon your requirement and and uh, in character set use unicode setting character set to set unicode enables you to store multiple language groups or you we can select use os characteristic set we hms so i will select with default one unicode I am clicking next on that and uh, it is now asking uh, where data file to be reside in file system or Oracle automatic storage management SM but I am selecting here in the file system o OSM is not configured for this so I will select file system here it is asking for a Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control. If we have already installed Cloud Control, we can give here the host name and port and agent name. So then it will be managed by the Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control. Enable or disable recovery for your database. I am enabling it and. Uh, Again, I am selecting file system because ASM is not installed in this machine. And it is asking for a password of this system. PDB had been differently, but I am selecting the same password for all the all three accounts. And uh, you can see it's uh, showing warning: your DM password entered does not confirm the oracle database recommended standards so it is showing the warning but i am continuing it with so it's now ready to install the oracle database 21c everything is now okay you can save a response file for the later use but i am selecting install it's a uh, quite time taking process to install the depends upon the configuration of your machine how much memory how much CPUs are there but it takes time to install and configure the database so let's see how it works not saving entry completed starting net services profile configuration complete you can see there succeeded succeeded in progress and you can see in here by clicking on details command executed one by one there so now OS part uh, rather when this part has been completed and uh, now it's copying database files 
from C database to ORC21 database. So I am showing you alert log. Here the progress of the installation of this uh, rather creation of the database. You can see here full to store complete of data file one. So you can also see the progress of your database creation instance creation by typing the alert 21 alert log so Oracle database configuration assistant is now in progress it copies a C database files and according to parameters which I gave earlier it will create and configure the Oracle instance and uh, so you can see here by typing the alert lock It is a quite time taking process, so we have to keep patience and watch the things which are moving there. You can see the commands in the Oracle instance. Other Oracle alert lock. It is forty three percent of the database creation is completed, fifty one percent is completed, eighty six percent overall. It is showing there. So you can see here by typing the alert lock again and again one percent completed 86 percent overall and now it's 100 percent completed configuration of Oracle database was successful and it's showing the Oracle Enterprise Manager database express URL by which we can monitor our database so I will type this URL and show you how you can monitor it's a express edition of enterprise manager so you can monitor but you cannot do administration of the database for that you have to enterprise manager cloud control so I am logging in with sys and I will show you enterprise database status there you can see just and monitor what's happening there you cannot configure or alter any parameter from this you can see storage table spaces there you can see there table spaces performance performance hub so this is the enterprise manager database express edition it is showing only the graphs and values but you cannot alter anything from this addition of the enterprise manager so that's all friends thank you for watching